Hi, in this video we're going to do encryption again, but this time we're going to use a slightly different method. Um, we're going to use the index location of the letters which are contained in a string. You could do this in a tuple or a list, um, but I'm just going with a string. Um, and I've set it up already, so I've got alphabet. It's a constant because I'm not expecting the string to change. Um, if, if you haven't watched the video to do with uh, tuples and lists and arrays yet, I recommend watching that. It's in my Python basics playlist. I'll put a link in the uh, description. Um, but let's get into it. So, just a quick reminder, with th this string, I'm going to be using the index location. If you remember, that A is in index location 0, B is in 1, C2, D3, etc. So we'll go up to 9. And then Z, right at the end, or Z, depending on how you say it, um, is in position 25. Okay, so we're going to need to remember that um, as we go through this. So I'm just going to leave a little comment in there for the moment uh, as a reminder. Right, as, a get, uh, as with always, we're going to get the message from the user. So we're going to message input, um, and we'll get the message from this user. Enter your message. Um, we're also going to set up that uh, empty string called encrypted because we're going to be, um, every time we encrypt a letter, we're going to stick it into that um, variable. Okay, and just like all the others, we're going to loop through each letter uh, in the message. Okay, so that's, we've got our loop set up. So the first thing I want to do is check to see if the letter is a space, because if it is a space, let's just keep it a space. We don't have to do anything fancy with that at the moment. I know in most encryption programs that will never, ever be the case, but in this one, just to kind of simplify it, we're, we're going to do that. So if letter equals, oh, I was do double equals uh, space, then encrypted plus equals the space, okay, or plus equals the letter. It's a, a better way of doing it. Okay, so now we have our first uh, real check. All right, so f because I'm using the index location, I want to check to see um, if the... Well, I'm, I'm checking for wraparound because I want to see if I need to, if I've gone beyond Z, I need to come back to A. So to check like an index location of something, um, we use uh, index, which is... Um, pretty obvious perhaps. So I'm checking the index location of letter. So what will happen is it will check letter, see what the letter is, and then check its position within this uh, this string. So And it will return its index location. So if it was A, it would return 0. If it was B, it would return 1, etc. But I'm going to do plus 5. If that is greater than the length of the alphabet, that means we've gone beyond Z. Uh, if this is the case, then we need to uh, wrap it back. So we're going to do encrypted plus equals the uh, alphabet, because we want to use the letter from the alphabet, and then we're going to use the index location of the letter found within alphabet, plus 5 minus 26. Of course, I could just do minus 21, but it's just uh, to make sure it's clear to you guys. Um, I meant to do not that bracket, but that bracket. There we go. If we don't need the wraparound, then we can do exactly the same as this, but we don't need to do the minus 26 part. So once you've done with that, we've looped through every single letter and we've encrypted it. We can just print the encrypted message. So let's see how that works. I'll get it saved. So encryption using index two. Okay. Right. Enter your message. Uh, oh, there's one thing I want to do first. I was going to write. Uh, I'll do it anyway. Hello world. I'm going to get an error because substring not found. You can't find little h because these are all capitals. So the simplest thing to do. Let's just stick an upper in the end there. Okay, let's try again. Hello world. And alphabet is not defined. Alf uh, small spelling mistake. This is what we call a transcription error. No, transposition error, sorry. Transposition where I've 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 muddled up the two two loop 
the two letters very common mistake so we've got alphabet we're gonna have to copy that again and then just minus the 26 part okay hello world and there we go we've got our encrypted message this time using the keys uh, well the index locations as our guide um, so have a mess around see which type you prefer using there's merits for using all, you know all the methods I've shown you and there are other methods have a play see if you can come up with your own methods